Hi everyone. I hope you are all doing well. Let's do a poem about a bird today. A beautiful bird. The name of the poem is Robin Redbreast and it was written by William Ellingham. Want to see what a robin looks like? Here. So if you look at the picture carefully, you will see that the underside of the bird is red in color. And hence, it has the name Robin Redbreast. Red breast. All right. I will begin this lesson by telling you a little about William Ellingham, who is the poet, and a little about a robin, because that will help you to understand the poem better. As we go through the poem, I will first read and explain it to you. And I have meanings of words that may be new to you on the screen. That will help you to understand the poem better. At the end, I will recite the poem for you once so that you know how you are meant to recite it. So let's start with this poem. William Lincoln. He was a diarist, poet, and editor. Some of his works are The Fairies, The Music Master, and Day and Night Song. And here's a little about a robin. A robin is a small bird with a reddish breast, like I showed you. It is a popular songbird. It sings beautifully in the United States of America. The bird lives in deciduous forests, Deciduous forests have trees that shed their leaves and is highly migratory. That means it migrates. This bird moves from colder regions to warmer regions in winter. Okay, so with that introduction out of the way, let's begin with the poem. Goodbye, goodbye to summer, for summer's nearly done. The garden smiling faintly, Cool breezes in the sun. Our thrushes now are silent. Our swallows flown away. So the poet is saying goodbye to summer. Summer is nearly done. It's almost over. The next season is starting. What's the next season after summer? Autumn. And then will come winter. So now the days are getting colder. The garden is smiling faintly slightly. The garden was probably full of beautiful flowers and plants. It's now not that full any longer. There are cool breezes in the sun. The sun is shining, but the breeze has become colder. The thrushes are silent. They're not singing anymore. And the swallows have flown away already. They have gone out looking for warmer lands. But robins here in coat of brown, with ruddy breast not gay. Robin, Robin red breast, oh Robin dear. Robin singing sweetly in the falling of the year. So the poet says, those birds have gone, but the Robin is still here in a coat of brown, brown colored bird with ruddy breast, ruddy meaning red, with red breast not gay. The red breast is looking beautiful and happy. Robin, Robin red breast. Oh, Robin dear, the poet is calling out to the Robin. Robin singing sweetly in the falling of the year. The Robin is still singing sweetly, even though the year is almost over. Falling of the year, the year is ending soon. Bright yellow, red and orange, the leaves come down in hosts. It's autumn now. And so what's happening? The leaves are falling from the trees. Like I said, a robin lives in deciduous forests where the leaves fall from the trees. Okay, not all the time, but in autumn. And the leaves are bright yellow, red, and orange. Okay, and they're falling down in hosts, in clumps, a lot together. The trees are Indian princes. The poet is saying the trees are Princes, they are royal, they are full actually and very beautiful, but soon they'll turn to ghosts. Why ghosts? Because soon they're going to lose all their leaves 
and all that will be left will be branches and the trunk of the tree. And then a tree like that resembles a ghost because it has no leaves. Of course, the leaves grow back later in spring, but for the time being, they will look like ghosts. The scanty pears and apples, scanty meaning hardly any pears and apples hang russet on the bough, a reddish brown color. So there are hardly any pears, it's pronounced as pears. I'm saying this because I have heard people say pears. You know, you have that soap also. They say pears soap. No, it's pronounced as pears. Pear, pears. It's the name of a fruit, pear. So the scanty pears and apples, there are hardly any pears and apples. And they are reddish brown in color and they are hanging on a branch, a bough pronounced as bow. It's autumn, autumn, autumn late. It will soon be winter now. So now it has become late autumn. And if it's late autumn, then winter is going to begin. Robin, Robin Redbreast, or oh, Robin dear. The poet's calling out to the Robin again. And what will this poor Robin do? He's calling the Robin poor. Why poor? Not because the Robin doesn't have any money but because the robin is going to have bad luck soon. What kind of bad luck? Winter. For pinching times are near, hard times. What hard times? Winter. Winter is a hard time for many birds and animals. A lot of animals hibernate during winter. They go into a deep sleep. They cannot bear the cold. Some of them migrate, if possible, they go to warmer lands and then return again in spring. So animals have to adapt to the climatic changes. The poor robin is still there, even though it's late autumn. So the poet is worried about it and saying, what are you going to do? Winter is almost here. It's going to be too cold for you to live here. And you're going to hardly find any food to eat. What are you going to do without food in the extreme cold? The fireside for the cricket, the wheat sack for the mouse. So the cricket will be close to a fire. The mouse will find its resting place in a wheat sack. It will look for someone's storage place and go into a sack, eat and sleep. When trembling night winds whistle, and mourn all around the house. So when winter comes, what happens? There are trembling night winds, winds that blow at night. They tremble and they whistle through the trees, like that. And they mourn all around the house. When they enter the house, they mourn, oh, oh, like that. And frosty ways like iron frosty means uh, frost is ice that has settled. So frosty ways like iron, the branches plumed with snow. So the branches are full of snow, covered with snow. And the frost is like iron. Why like iron? Because iron is strong and stiff and it's very hard to move it. So the frosty ways like iron, the branches are full of snow. Alas, at last, in winter, dead and dark. Winter is dead and dark. The days are very short. Daylight is over very quickly and it gets dark. Even the daytime is dark sometimes, you know, when it gets cloudy and there's not enough sunshine. It's so dark and cold and dead. Dead because when it's so cold, the birds don't want to come out. The animals don't want to come out. People don't want to come out. They'll be in their houses. Where can poor Robin go? Now, once winter begins, how will the Robin go? It will be too cold for Robin to fly. Robin, Robin Redbreast. Oh, Robin, dear. So the poet's calling out to him a third time now. And a crumb of bread for Robin, his little heart to cheer. The poet says, the poor Robin who doesn't know what it's in for. Winter is about to begin. It's going to be freezing cold. There's hardly any food to eat. So I will make him happy, a little happy, by giving him a crumb of bread, a little piece of bread to make him happy. 
So now I will go through this poem again and read it once for you. I will recite it for you so that you know how it is meant to be recited. Okay? I hope you have understood it by now. Let's begin. We always begin by saying the name of the poem and the poet. Robin Redbreast by William Ellingham. Goodbye, goodbye to summer, for summer's nearly done. The garden smiling faintly, cool breezes in the sun. Our thrushes now are silent. Our swallows flown away. But Robin's here in coat of brown with ruddy breast not gay. Robin, Robin Redbreast, oh Robin dear. Robin singing sweetly in the falling of the year. Bright yellow, red and orange, the leaves come down in hosts. The trees are Indian princes, but soon they'll turn to ghosts. A scanty pears and apples hang russet on the bough. It's autumn, autumn, Autumn late, it will soon be winter now. Robin, Robin Redbreast, oh Robin dear. And what will this poor Robin do? For pinching times are near. The fireside for the cricket, the wheat sack for the mouse, when trembling night winds whistle and moan all around the house. Frosty ways like iron, the branches plumed with snow. Alas, in winter dead and dark. Where can poor Robin go? Robin, Robin Redbreast, oh Robin dear. And a crumb of bread for Robin, his little heart to cheer. Well, did you enjoy that? Certainly hope you did. Until we meet again. Bye.